In any space mission, the return to Earth is the part that causes the most tension, the reentry into the atmosphere, a violent and dangerous moment. So the sight of those parachutes opening brought an enormous sense of relief. Now the names Isaac Mann, Arsenault, Sombrowski, and Proctor go on the list of some 600 humans who have left the planet. The four making up the first team of non-professionals to go into orbit. And this voyage likely marking a turning point in space tourism. SpaceX expecting up to six private flights per year with a price tag of $55 million per person. Let's get more now from ABC's transportation correspondent Gio Benitez. And Gio is quite a splashdown. Good morning. It really was what good morning. Yeah, that return to Earth is incredibly dangerous. The extreme heat cuts off all communications between the spaceship and Earth for about six minutes. But overnight, applause in mission control. This morning, that historic splashdown. The first all civilian crew to orbit the Earth, landing safely in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Florida, met by recovery boats. Inspiration 4, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home to planet Earth. The re entry into the atmosphere, daring and dangerous. The exterior of the spaceship heating up to 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit as plasma envelops the Crew Dragon. The ship slowing down from 17,500 miles per hour to 350. The civilians eventually feeling 4.5 G's of force on their bodies. When those shoots pull out, they can actually feel that stop and they can almost feel sort of a bounce back up. He said it was remarkable and that landing on the water was like landing on a trampoline. The four civilians going on this journey with no professional astronaut on board to a distance from Earth never reached by any other private citizen on the planet. 367 miles above the Earth, orbiting the planet about 47 times. This is the largest window ever flown in space. We can put our head in and fit multiple crew members and see the entire perimeter of the Earth. Billionaire Jared Isaacman commanding and funding the mission with the goal of raising $200 million for St. Jude Children's Hospital. Air Force vet Chris Sombrowski, the mission specialist. Geoscience professor Dr. Cyan Proctor, the pilot, becoming just the fourth black American to go to space and 29 year old Haley Arsenault, the youngest American in space and the first pediatric cancer survivor to make it there too. Lots of waves, thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> now after spending three days in zero gravity, conducting experiments, speaking live from space with the children at St. Jude and getting epic views of Earth from the ship's cupola, the four are safely back on planet Earth. Also happening overnight, SpaceX founder Elon Musk said he will donate $50 million to St. Jude. So in all, we are looking at more than $180 million donated so far to the research hospital. Uh, such a great cause there. Thank you, Gio Benitez. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.